<laughs> what was the question? <laughs> My name is Robbie Ali. I'm a student at the University for Peace, going for a master's in responsible management and sustainable economic development. Yeah, I'm trying to think about what I mean. My name is Elaine Shao. I'm an LLM student at Pace University. I am currently based out of the University for Peace in Costa Rica, where I'm working on my thesis, which is on transboundary peace parks and community conservation. <laughs> Hi, I'm Rob Fletcher. I'm a professor at the University for Peace in Costa Rica, and we're here in Parque Internacional La Amistad, uh, investigating how it is that uh, conservation policy plays out on the ground. Why would I want to do this? Man, if I, <laughs> I'm, I'm very lucky to be here, to be surrounded with such great people. But the opportunity to, to link what, what I'm studying to what's hap truly happening on the ground, to go ahead and build my own experiences and knowledge, to go ahead and make better decisions as I become a professional in the field. Through experiential learning, International Peace Park Expeditions brings the theory down to the ground in the real world practice. So we get to explore the environmental conservation topics in the park on the ground. My thesis is about transboundary peace parks in areas of conflict, political instability or insecurity. And so one of the big questions for me before I came here was, are the communities participating and how are they participating and to what extent? is something that's really hard to gauge just from resources that you find in libraries or in the internet. And the best way to go and learn is to go and see. And so we're here doing these interviews and I've been learning a lot more about um, the community participation in the management of the park. We had the opportunity to talk to community members, park administrators and forest rangers, environmental ministry authorities, and the NGOs that are working in and around the park. The, the interesting thing for me is that everybody's got a, a similar version to, of the same story. Everybody has different needs and challenges. So it's been extremely beneficial to my research to gauge um, how much has actually happened um, and what's actually happening on the ground. It's been a process of learning from all these different stakeholders to go ahead and put the story together for myself and so that I can move forward with my own project. Most conservation policy around the world emphasizes the importance of community involvement, but there's great variability in terms of how this actually plays out on the ground how much communities are actually involved. And so by looking at the relationship between management policy, between conservation theory, and actual practice, we can get a much more holistic, a much broader picture of the actual practice of conservation. Join us on our next expedition. You can sign up and learn more at peaceparkexpeditions.com. Hey, <laughs> you